Praise for the altar of His presence. Studies and surveys have shown Christians do not live like they say they believe. Discipleship deficiencies among Christians are prevalent and alarming. Why? Many Christ followers believe that to be a disciple they must concentrate on knowing a rational theology and doing a behavioral theology. While both are very necessary, they are not transformative. The ultimate goal of discipleship is Christ-likeness. What must occur is a rational experience that begins with loving God and loving others. More human effort is not needed, but rather an extraordinary ability provided only by the power of the Holy Spirit. In his new book, The Altar of His Presence, Robert Stone provides a pattern and a process to establish a growing, intimate relationship with God by experiencing His presence. He gives a historical view of the importance of the altar as well as a practical way to establish a personal altar. This book will assist in fulfilling the desire to practice God's presence. And we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into His image with ever-increasing glory which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. 2 Corinthians Chapter 3, verse 18, New International Version. Reverend Alton Garrison, Assistant General Superintendent, the General Council of the Assemblies of God, Springfield, Missouri. Many people today are often intimidated by the idea of developing a personal and intimate relationship with the Lord, a relationship within which one can actually experience His presence and recognize His voice as He speaks in many different ways. Robert Stone skillfully opens Scripture to reveal that this idea is actually God's. Furthermore, as God's invitation to us becomes our priority, we discover God's purpose, pattern, and pathway to know and experience Him in a new and very intimate way. I highly recommend this book both as a study guide and a daily devotion to discover the beauty of God's presence more fully. It will truly alter your life. Charles Patterson, Pastor Emeritus, Church of the Hills. Charles Patterson Ministries, Austin. Texas. I would personally encourage every serious man of God to get a copy of this ever-inspiring devotional book. I can promise that you will be blessed each time you read through it. Bishop McOwen Andrew S. Moale, Senior Pastor, Katawa Jerusalem Temple, Mazuzu, Malawi. Former Division Director, Northern Region of the Malawi Assemblies of God. The altar of His presence is not for those who wish to be motivated by other people's stories. Instead, Robert Stone skillfully weaves life lessons of his own, richly seasoned with Scripture, in order to lead the reader into an altered life. This devotional will help you to understand and establish your trysting place, an appointed time and place to call upon the Lord and to become His voice in our world. May each of us fully commit to hearing the voice of the Spirit and obeying the illumination He gives from His Word as we become altered by His presence in our lives. Rick Shields, President, Doorways, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma Prayer is the power that sustains change, drives commitment, and creates the Christ-likeness for every Christian. Robert Stone has laid out the process, potential, and practice of prayer for the believer using systematic and biblically-based principles in a devotional form. Follow these principles through study and reflection in each chapter and find a whole new way to experience Christ and the dynamic of the Holy Spirit with life-changing results. Doyle Falks, Superintendent, Southern Idaho Ministry Network of the Assemblies of God, Nampa, Idaho. In writing The Altar of His Presence, Robert Stone has put biblical truth at our fingertips. In doing so, Robert has encouraged us to settle in and get to know God in a deep and profound way. He teaches us that by spending time in deliberation and reflection, we come to know God and see things in the scriptures that we might have otherwise missed. 
By embracing such knowledge, we are able to imprint what we have learned in our hearts and minds, develop spiritual wisdom, and move further along in our walk with God. This is a valuable read for all Christians. Fran Bates, Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant, Austin, Texas. While reading The Altar of His Presence, I was reminded of an incident that happened several years ago. At that time, I had a nephew who was in special need of prayer. He asked me to pray over him, so we knelt down beside his bed and prayed. Prior to that night, I had sought to be filled with the Holy Spirit, but had never felt like the work was accomplished in my life. But as we prayed together that night, I felt God flooding me with the Holy Spirit. I prayed like I had never prayed before and experienced speaking in tongues for the first time. I now understand what truly happened that night. My nephew and I built an altar, and the Lord met us there. The Altar of His Presence is one of the best books I have read. The book is full of insight born out of Robert's research. He presents it in a very understandable way. The information about the materials and manner of how the people in the Bible built historical altars fascinated me. I was inspired to learn how God blessed every one of his people who came to the altar, and that he gave many of them a special ability to communicate with him and other believers. The book also reminds the reader that an altar can be built anywhere and at any time. The promise of God is true. If we come to the altar, the Lord will always meet us there. Finally, in reading this book, my spiritual eyes were opened to many things concerning the Holy Spirit's ministry and His ministry at the altar. Anyone who chooses to do so can build an altar and enter the presence of God in their prayer closet, or when sitting on a chair, kneeling before their bed, or even lying down on the living room couch. The Lord wants to meet with each of us during a church service or even in our own backyard. Any place will work. We must decide in our heart to meet with God, and if we will begin with thanksgiving and praise, the Spirit will manifest His presence. I encourage everyone to read this book with an open heart. I can promise that by doing so, they will find that it's not important where we build an altar, and that by doing so, they will be positioned to receive the best of blessings from Him, His presence. Dwight Carm, Retired Owner, Paramount Insurance Repair Service, Houston, Texas. Robert Stone is a revolutionary. In his new book, The Altar of His Presence, Robert gives insight to mankind's ability to commune with God on a personal and unprecedented level. Robert can take the most difficult biblical concepts, particularly involving the wonderful intervening presence of the Holy Spirit, and make them seem extraordinarily simple for the average Christian. Robert's teaching that each of us can experience the manifest presence of God through a loving relationship with our Lord is truly life-altering. I encourage everyone to join the Lord at the altar of His presence, the meeting place of our heart. Thank you, Robert, for another altered work. Your message has forever changed my view of the Holy Spirit and His work in my life. Jeff Nebel, Brushy Creek Community of Austin Christian Fellowship, Austin, Texas. The Altar of His Presence is a powerful, passionate, and uplifting read that inspires the reader to come experience the manifest presence of God. This book is rich with spiritual guidance, biblical truth, and practical application. Robert leads us through a journey into the proper order of God and His will for our lives. The book details God's promise to meet us, deliver us, heal us, and create in us a new heart and mind. All we have to do is believe. Author Robert Stone uses scripture, stories, and vivid word pictures to wonderfully illustrate how much God loves us and wants to bless us with a personal relationship with Him. This book is motivating, captivating, encouraging, and invigorating. Finally. The altar of His presence reminds us that through God's grace, we not only have a place, a person, and a people to meet the Lord, but most importantly, we have God in us, and that is where God ultimately wants to meet. There's no better time than now.
Michael Vallotton, Pastor of Finance and Operations, Lake Hills Church, Austin, Texas. Robert Stone has struck the perfect combination of biblical history and practical daily living application with his new book, The Altar of His Presence. I love how each chapter opens with a new focus on the ministry of the altar. The organization of the material will remind the reader of the importance of having a personal relationship and approach to God, the Father, through daily communion. This study guide will give the reader a fresh, new way of approaching the altar of God while bringing clarity and focus to their faith. Ryan Horn, Surprise, Arizona Thank you for allowing the Holy Spirit to speak through you in your most recent book, The Altar of His Presence. It is a timely message in the hour we now live and minister in. As I read your book, I kept thinking about the church culture that has developed over the past several years. The altar is seldom mentioned and is being emphasized less and less. Truly, if we are going to live in an altered life, we must recognize the importance of having a personal, enduring relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We must contend for a relationship that embraces meeting with Him and coming to Him on a continual basis. Robert Stone, I know your book, The Altar of His Presence, is going to make an impact on all who read it. Those who have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying will greatly glean from its truths you have so divinely written. Thank you for allowing me the privilege and honor to be one of the first to read The Altar of His Presence and to be blessed and enlightened by it. May God richly bless you for your obedience in writing such a profound book, Harold and Marilyn Morton. Senior Pastors, Word of Life World Outreach, Conroe, Texas. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, that our reasonable service unto God is to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable for the Lord. In his new book, Robert Stone shares great insight and fresh revelation concerning the work of the Holy Spirit at the altar. His insight and understanding on the manner in which the men of God in the Bible constructed, worshipped at, and encouraged others reveals how the ministry at the altar is to be used, the purpose of the altar, and how each and every one of us can build one. Robert shows that the altar is essential and indispensable in our relationship with God, a connecting place between God and His people and the gate into His presence. I highly recommend this book and will surely use it to teach my congregation. Pastor Arno Boetius, Tabernacle of David, Aruba The altar of His presence is no mere devotional, but a sacred journey. Fasten your seatbelt and prepare to have your life totally altered. Daryl Mozigemba, Austin, Texas This book is a must-read for those who want to be informed about those in the history of God's Word and who have experienced not only the move of God in their life, but how the same should be happening in our lives, the complete church. One paragraph says it best. Our altered way of life must break out of the four walls of the modern church and into the lives of others. We must speak out of who we are in Christ Jesus, not just what we have learned. We must walk in the newness of the ascended life. We have been planted together in the likeness of His death, raised in the likeness of His resurrection, and seated with Him far above all principalities and powers. The reflections and space for our own responses from each chapter ask the reader to listen to the Holy Spirit for a heartfelt response to what God has shown to them personally. The essence of the altar of His presence is best stated in Section 8. The marks of an altered life are consistency, faithfulness, and stability. The fire that originally came from above must never go out on the altar or in our spiritual lives. Take time to fan the flame. Ask the Lord to help you see from His perspective as you worship and adore His holy name. Dean and Janet Wilson, Dean Wilson Ministries, Denton, Texas. The altar of His presence is a must-read for every Christian. 
Robert's devotional study not only opened my understanding, but every time I would read a new section, my spirit would leap inside of me. I found myself both excited and overwhelmed by the Lord's presence many times. If you are seeking to have fresh outlook on the Holy Spirit's ministry, this is the book for you. It will bring heaven to earth and the glory of God will flood your heart and soul. Tony and Becky Gariffo, owners of Engedi Pest Control, Waller, Texas. Are you hungering for more of God's presence in your life? Do you long for God to meet you in your quiet times? Are you seeking His face wholeheartedly? Robert's new book, The Altar of His Presence, will point you to a life that presses into the Lord and His Spirit. If you accept this invitation, you will behold the glory of God and be transformed forever. Lynn McGoldrick, Bible study teacher and small group leader, Austin, Texas.